Well, I don't know what your 2021 was like personally. It could have been a struggle. I know a lot of people did struggle in 2021, but hey, it is 2022. We're going to leave all that behind. And if you want to succeed and achieve those goals that you've been thinking about for quite a while, and 2022 is going to be the year for you, then here are five things that you might want to think about leaving behind. Hi, my name is Sheila. Welcome to this video. We're going to talk about five things that you need to leave behind from 2021 so that you can move forward in 2022. First up, we are going to stop saying yes to people pleasing. That is just not what we're going to be doing. We're going to be focusing more on the things that matter to us. A lot of times we are deciding, you know, what our profession is going to be when we're just starting out based on trying to please our parents. And the reality is they really just want us to be happy, responsible adults and have opportunities. So go ahead, put you first, think about what works for you and stop trying to people please them. We're also trying to impress and people please our colleagues with how we dress, what kind of education we have, what we look like. Again, start focusing on what your needs are. Stop worrying about what all of those other people think and making decisions because you want to please them. Number two, I talk about this one all the time because I am trying to stress being more fearless with the decisions that we make and how we lead our lives. You guys, I speak from experience because I'm a person who makes decisions based on fear a lot of times. I'm sure a lot of you do too. We let fear make more decisions for us than we make for ourselves. We're afraid we're going to say the wrong thing, wear the wrong thing. We're so concerned that we're going to offend someone else that we can't even express ourselves in an authentic way. We can't even really share what it is we're thinking about or how we feel because we are afraid. We spend our lives afraid of what the consequences are going to be, especially if it's something we think we're going to fail with. It's like, oh no, you know, I failed in my job. I failed in my marriage. I failed at school. I failed with everything that I've tried to do. And people are just going to like think worse of me. Guess what? People are gonna think about you and say things anyway. So stop worrying about that. Stop worrying about what the consequences are going to be and start focusing more on those things that you need to achieve. You will never achieve them if you're too afraid to start. Number three, and this is a big one. Say goodbye to not working on self-improvement. Look, for years, we worked on self-improvement. It was something called school. We went all the time. We learned about history, the sciences, culture, things that we sometimes didn't even really want to learn about, but it helped us along our path. It helped us with a little bit more knowledge, training, skills, experience, all of those things that we had to do because, hey, the government said we had to show up and get some education. Now, though, a lot of us feel like we don't have to engage in self-improvement anymore. That is so wrong. We can engage in self-improvement in so many ways. There can be professional improvement where we are taking classes or going online or buying books to help us learn more things so that we can perform better in our jobs or maybe get a start in a new career. We can also choose self-improvement that just helps us on a personal sort of level, maybe be better at things that we're interested in. Maybe we're focused on health. All of these things, self-improvement, we wanna level up, be our best selves. We're not trying to be anybody else, but we can decide that, hey, you know what? I am going to start making myself a priority and I am going to focus on doing good things for me so that I can be that like it person for myself. Four, say goodbye to perfection. Say hello to progression or progress or getting better, whatever you want to call it. I do hear people sometimes say, you know what, one day I'm going to do this or when I have, you know, everything in line and the circumstances are right, then I'm going to do that. They're waiting for this like perfect moment in time or perfect day. Now I will say there are times when you do want to make sure that you have some stability in your life, that maybe you have a foundation in place. So for instance, if you're saying, oh, well, you know, once we're able to move into a home and we're sure about our jobs, we're going to start a family. 
that makes perfect sense. That's called planning, okay? There's a difference between planning and seeking out perfection. Like I could never have kids because I just would never have the right environment for them. What is the right environment? I think that's an environment where the parent loves the child, the guardian loves the child, whoever is caring for the child loves the child and can provide that child a safe environment. So we're not talking about perfection. We're talking about planning and we're talking about achieving progress so that we can reach those goals. But if all you're saying is I can't ever do it because I don't have the perfect space, and I have said that too, I say that all the time. Like this other space, I hate it, it doesn't work, it's not doing what I want it to do because it's not quote perfect. I'm working on changing it so that it's a better, it won't ever be perfect, but it can be the best that it can be. Do you know what I mean? That's what we're looking for. And finally, number five, things to put and leave behind in 2021. This whole idea that it's too late to start something. I always think to myself, if you're still alive, then how is it too late to start? People get things in their head that, well, I can't go back to school because I'm older and it's too late or I can't start a family. Now, biologically, it might be too late, but you can always adopt. It depends on what your definition of a family is and what it is you really want. I can't learn how to play an instrument because you know, it's too late. I can't get on YouTube because it's too late, it's too saturated. I can't do that career because there are all these other people doing it and how would I ever get a job? If you're alive, it's not too late. If you're dead, then it probably is too late. And if you're thinking it's too late, there's a whole dead mentality that you're going to have to get over at some point in time if you ever want to do anything with your life. So that's it. Five tips, five things to leave behind in 2021 so that you can have a successful 2022 and make it everything that it needs to be. I'm Sheila. That's it. Don't forget to subscribe to this video and uh, peace. Light it up, light it up.